This is not the time to give up. This is not the time to back down. This is not the time to compromise your principles or to give in to tyranny and manipulation and everybody who would rather you not be free so that they can live off of you. That is what we are facing when we take on government. That is what the freedom movement is all about. And it is really sad to see that right now, predictably in this time of crisis, in this time of challenge, there are some of us who understand what government is, what it represents, and the beauty of freedom, the essence of freedom, the essentialness of freedom. Some of us seem to be wavering in our commitment failing in our understanding, losing confidence in that which we know in our soul at the deepest level possible to be true. We are in a time of unique crisis, and it is not a crisis caused by the virus. Let me be perfectly clear. Every mainstream media outlet, every headline, every writer, every propagandist who says we are in a crisis because of the coronavirus is lying to you and they know it. The cause of the crisis is not the virus. It is our fear response. It is the government response. It is the government taking advantage of our fear that is the crisis we are facing today. That we have been bullied into this state of semi-submission is predictable. And yet I am more hopeful than ever. They are running scared. This is their last ditch attempt to consolidate power and they are failing from the top to the bottom. They are failing to scare the people of the world with their lies. That much is abundantly clear. They are failing to get us to comply in America with lockdowns and shutdowns as we have seen from the data, not the data from the government, the data from Apple. That's right, tracking our movements, we are able to see that most Americans are going about their lives more or less as they would without the lockdown orders, without the state of emergency. They are failing to manipulate the political process as much as they try as we see even now in the Libertarian Party, infiltrators exposing themselves. What does it tell you when you see someone? This is, this is today's lesson in how to spot an infiltrator in the Libertarian Party. Someone who says, I love the Libertarian Party. I love libertarianism. I love libertarian principles. UBI universal basic income is wrong no matter what the circumstances and then how convenient justin amash jumps in the race and advocates in a way that some people are exaggerating that we should have temporary ubi temporary monthly payments to every american in response to the corona crisis now we know what's happening here the government breaks your leg gives you a crutch and says see if it wasn't for the government you wouldn't be able to walk. Now, when the option is have a crutch or not have a crutch, yeah, I'd rather have a crutch and be able to hobble along. But if I can say, don't break my fucking leg in the first place, don't break my leg with the excuse that you're, it's okay, you can break my leg as long as you give me a crutch. Really? You hear now these same libertarians, these so called libertarians say, well, UBI is not that bad. Well, if it's temporary, it's okay. Well, you know, it's just getting our tax dollars back. No, it's not. It's you being put on an allowance and your children being sold down the road into further worse, more vicious debt slavery with future generations facing a national debt that would dwarf what we have today, which is already a form of intergenerational child abuse. Look around. Look at the reality that we are facing in America today. If your principles don't hold up under scrutiny, 
If your principles can't withstand a simple challenge like this, then what good were they in the first place? What was the point of standing up to a tyrannical government? If all they had to do to scare you back into submission is take a funky little off-season flu that's less deadly than a lot of viruses already out there in the human petri dish and say, this is why you have to support us taking away your rights. Really? No. This is the time to push harder than ever. This is the time the American people need real leadership in civil disobedience, in standing up to tyranny, in staying true to American principles of freedom. Freedom is what you have when no one is forcing their will on you. A free society is a nonviolent society, a just society, a peaceful, cooperative, and harmonious society. As a voluntarist, a lot of people have tried to paint my views as anarchists, as dangerous, as chaotic. But if you want to define anarchy that way, we see that quite the opposite is true. What do we have today? 35% unemployment five times at the height of the Great Depression. We have people being shot in the street over disagreements about government regulations. We have an opportunity like never before to be the voice of a people who are frustrated, who are angry, who are ready to fight back, who are ready to stand up to the duopoly and say, it's time to demand an alternative. And while the Libertarian Party is far from perfect, and of course, yes, we are subject to infiltration, to manipulation, to sabotage, and all forms of subversion, whether by COINTELPRO, other secret government agencies, or just by the old parties defending the duopoly. I hate to see people leave the Libertarian Party because they had one bad experience. That's how they kill us. That's how they kill the party. What does it say about your commitment if you join an organization because it's the party of principles? And then you run away because one infiltrator or one punk was able to come to one county meeting and give you a bad experience. Now, more than ever, we must stay true. And I am not putting an institution above principles, but as it is the best manifestation of our principles in American politics today, in the bigger American conversation, it is now true more than ever that we must stand strong with the Libertarian Party.